Got it. Okay, so this is our lesson today, subtraction. Before we go to our lesson, I would like to ask, what are the parts of an addition operation? Anyone? What are the parts of addition operation? The parts of additions are addends and the sum or the total. Because I asked that question because I'm going to ask you what are the parts of a subtraction operation today. Okay, before we go to page 22, I would like to ask you first, what are the parts of subtraction? We have learned the parts of addition. Addend plus addend equals sum or total, right? So, for example, 2 plus 3 equals 5. 2 and 3 are addends. And 5, the answer is called the sum or total. So, how about, for example, 88 minus 80 equals 8. What do you call 88? What do you call 80 and what do you call 8? Anyone who can remember their grade 3 mathematics? So uh, 88 starts with letter M. It starts with letter M. What do you call 88? Uh. Okay, since you, no one Menuets. is Menuets. Again, please. Menuets. It's Minwind. Okay, everybody oh. say Minwind. Minwind. Okay, min very good. That's, that's the biggest number in the equation. And what do you call number 80? It starts with letter S. Subtract. Subtractor. It's subtrahend. Everybody say subtrahend. Subtrahend. Okay, so min, min win the Subtra bigger hand. number, the smallest, the smaller number, the subtrahend. But the answer is called what's what do you call the answer? Sum. Sum is for addition. Start with letter D. Start with letter D. Start with letter D. Okay, it's called difference. Everybody say difference. Difference. Okay, so the mean wind in the equation is 88, the subtrahend is 80, and the answer is called difference okay please remember this mean wind subtrahend and difference in addition addend plus addend equals sum or total subtraction mean wind minus subtrahend equals difference okay let's proceed now to our lesson on page 22 i'm going to explain or show you the examples. Subtracting two numbers. So the equation 856,664 minus 645,992 is equal to blank. Regroup when necessary. Okay, so you have to regroup. So four and two. 4 minus 2 equals 2. 6 becomes 16. We borrow from 6. So 6 becomes 5. Okay. 16 minus 9 equals 7. Okay. 5 minus 6 cannot be. 
So, 15 be 5 becomes 15. We borrow from 6. 6 becomes 5. 15 minus 9 equals 6. 5 minus 5 equals 0. 5 minus 4 equals 1. 8 minus 6 equals 2. Answer, 210,672. Okay, let's subtract three numbers. When subtracting three numbers, first subtract the second number from the first number to get the initial answer. And then subtract the third number from the initial answer to get the final answer. Okay, look at this example. 837,425 minus 24,933 minus 12,784. So we are going to use the first step or the first method or the second method, sorry. The first, in addition, if you remember in addition, there are two methods, right? You have to add first method, you add all together right away. Second method, you have to add first the two addends, and then the, that sum will be added to the third addend. So here in the subtraction, we are going to subtract the second number from the first number first. After getting the difference, this, you write there, and then you subtract the remaining number. So look, 5 minus 3 equals 2. 2 becomes 12 because 2 minus 3 cannot be subtracted. 2 is smaller than 3. So 2 becomes 12. We borrow from 4. 4 becomes 3. 12 minus 3 equals 9. 3 minus 9 cannot be subtracted. 3 is very smaller than 9. So 3 becomes 13. 13 we borrow one from seven. So seven becomes six. 13 minus nine equals four. Six minus four equals two. Three minus two equals one. Eight minus zero equals eight. And then you write this difference here. 812,492. Two minus four cannot be so. Two becomes 12. We borrow one from nine. Nine becomes eight. 12 minus 4 equals 8. 8 minus 8 equals 0. 4 minus 7 cannot be subtracted because 4 is smaller than 7. So 4 becomes 14. We borrow 1 from 2. 2 becomes 1. 14 minus 7 equals 7. 1 minus 2 cannot be subtracted. We borrow 1 from 1. 1 becomes 0. 11 minus two equals nine. Zero minus one cannot be subtracted. Zero becomes 10. We borrow one from seven, uh, eight. Eight becomes seven. 10 minus one equals nine. Seven minus zero equals seven. I knew you learned this when you were in grade three. The only difference now is that the numbers are getting bigger or the numbers are huge, composed of six or more digits, okay? How do you subtract four numbers? Singha, how do you subtract four numbers? A while, a while ago, how do you subtract three numbers? So the first, the second number is subtracted from the first number. And then the third number is subtracted from the first difference. This is the first. I know. Ah, how do you subtract four numbers? Kran? We go to necessary. Okay. So Kran, uh, it's just like answering how to subtract three numbers right but okay. because it but because it's four numbers 
after subtracting the third number from the initial answer to get the final answer, you subtract the fourth number from the initial answer to get the final answer. So, okay, moving on. On page 17. 432. Ah, this is so huge. Look, 3,264,980 oh. minus 58,621 minus 745,852. Are you still listening? Okay, I hope so. Yeah. Okay, so zero becomes 10. 10 minus one equals nine. Eight becomes seven because we borrowed one. So seven minus two equals five. We, we didn't borrow, so nine still, still nine. Nine minus six, six equals three. Four cannot be subtracted by eight because four is smaller than eight. So four becomes 14. 14 minus 8 equals 6. Five be 6 becomes 5. 5 minus 5 equals 0. 2 minus 0 equals 2. 3 minus 0 equals 3. Then write this number here. So not, And then subtract to the third number. 9 minus 2 equals 7. 5 minus 5 equals 0. 3 becomes 13. We borrow 1 from 6. 6 becomes 5. 13 minus 8 equals 5. 5 minus 5 equals 0. 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 4 equals 6. 2 becomes 1. 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 7 equals 4. And 3 becomes 2. 2 minus 0 equals 2. So when you are doing the 